the galleon stroke pirate ship has lots of cutting out so what i would like you to do is just go ahead as i've done now and just cut out all the bits and then we'll look at the individual elements and i'll just talk you through the various things that you're going to need to do with them now one of the things you'll notice is that uh, to actually make the card make it up you've got two pieces of paper uh, this is or two pieces of card rather the reason for this is that because once the galleon sits in here its sails are so high it just wouldn't fit on an ordinary a4 piece of paper so the first thing you're going to need to do is print out both halves and just cut them out and then just join them together you'll notice one of them has a tab and on this tab i'm just going to put my glue gun here tape gun and just then attach the first part of the backing paper there and just pop it on And that will now become the main crease for the card and this part here will become the front we can put one of the pirate images on there if you want to so that's that part there so once we've done that the next thing to do is to take on all the various different layers and the first part that we're going to make is actually the the base of the galleon here so i've glued the tabs and i'm just going to do the stern or the back of the boat here and then this tab We'll just glue on to the back panel there and then we've got the front to do and you can see here all the little sections so they just need to be folded back and then just glued and attached to the front of the boat so if i just push those down there like so and just carefully join those bits together there and what we'll end up with is the basic outline stroke shape of our galleon which now looks like this with the base down and ready what you need to do is start preparing for putting the body of the galleon down now there aren't any markings because it may just alter slightly as you put your two halves together so effectively what you want to do is just measure in 15 millimeters from either side of the center line here and just put a light pencil mark to show you where to rest the bottom of the boat i'm just going to glue this particular section of the boat the galleon so with that first tab glued what I'm going to do is just line it all up keeping it nice and straight and then just put that tab down because what we're going to do is build up each half and then pull it over and eventually the whole boat will come together and look something like this but we're just going to do half at a time because the next me mechanism we've got to look at is the lift which will hold the base of the boat now your base will look something like this once you've cut it out there's two dire warnings on it do not glue this strip that's because we're going to put the mast through that particular part so what you need to do now is, as i said cut it out there's one red line here so just cut that that's just to allow the thing to fold together so what i'm going to do now is just put some glue either side here allowing a little bit of room it's still going to be plenty strong enough but the reason we've got this is because we're going to actually slide the, the masts down through there so if i now go like that and then fold here we'll still be able to put the masts down which just slide actually center with the dots here and that's our main our main lift mechanism and that's going to go on the bottom of the boat and then lift the floor up to bring that the first level of the boat so let's now apply that to the base all right there was the uh, warning not to glue in the middle and that's because we're now going to feed the first mast which is the longest or the tallest of the three that you'll have made up the tallest one will just go through that slot there like so and that's got plenty of room to move about so what we've got to do now is simply glue that half there because we're going to put that on to this part of the boat And this will now glue in line up the dots and that will glue along the center line there i 
And while we've got this, we might as well just do the other half because this all moves left and right anyway. So that can go into there like so. And I'm just going to carefully feed that mast through into the boat there. But you could have just fed that through, make life a little bit easier before we started. So that's the lift mechanism. And now what we're going to do is put the main part of the, or the main deck in. The main deck now looks something like this once you've cut it out. Again, you've got these red lines. These are to allow the mast to go through. So you'd be a little bit generous with your cutting. And just take these strips out here. And this will be the hole into which the mast at the front and the back of the boat sit. There we go. So once those three are out, we're ready to put that onto the boat. But we'll also need to bring in our other two masts. Do you notice they're in three lengths? The longest goes in the middle, the shortest goes at the back, and the mid-length one goes at the front, like so. Okay, the next thing to do is put the main decking onto the boat, and this is a wee bit tricky. So what you'll need to do is slide this over, but before we do that, it's time to just glue uh, the central support here. That's going to be easier at this point just to put a little bit of wet glue on there. So that's now sitting in position. If I just pull this up, you should be able to see a little bit more easily what's happening. And then we just simply pop this down on to the boat. Now there's a lighter panel here at the back, and that is the back of the boat. So that goes towards the back, and that's then the front. We can just slide the mast over here. Incidentally, if this mast is, if you find this really difficult, you could put the mast in afterwards and glue it. So I've just shown it this way. Oh, and before I forget, we just need to put a little bit of glue down one side. So I'll slide that over. And then rest that down. And that's going to just touch now between the side of the galleon and we're resting now on that central pivot if you can see that I'll pull it up and then I'll just push that down and that will stick everything down that way so we're simply sliding it on and then gluing it as you can see now that then pulls up I can only liken this to like the cake that we've made before if you've done that if you've done the birthday cake it's a similar thing Please don't panic, it looks a lot, lot more complicated than it really is. Now when we've done this side, this half of the boat is now, is now sitting down as it were. We're going to just glue all these extra bits and pull the whole thing over. One stage at a time. So, first off, let's put a little bit of glue onto the tab there. Now this is where it gets a little bit trickier. I need to put some glue onto the lift mechanism here and I also need to get some glue onto that tab there. I'm going to just use my glue pen roll that inside because what I'm going to do now is roll this all over. So the tab now sits, let me pull that back, the tab now sits there like so, that comes over and that sits on there. And in theory, as we pull the whole thing up, you can see the boat coming together there. Now, if I just push... There we go. If I pull that over, up comes the whole of the boat structure. The back part of the boat, or the stern, let's get technical now, has two parts to it. Another lift, just to, to literally just lift it up. And that just gives another nice little effect to the boat here. And then this part just sits on the top. So, as with the main deck, what you need to do is cut a hole through here so we can slide the mast. Uh, although we glued the first mast in, it wasn't absolutely necessary. And I think actually if you're struggling... Although I've done that on here because I'm, I'm used to making this now, I would probably say leave that mast off. But anyway, we'll come back to that a little bit later. So those are our two tabs, and then there's a center line on here. Give that plenty of crease. The same goes for the main deck. So when it springs up, it's, it's not fighting with itself.
Then we've got the lift mechanism here. Again, I've folded everything. You've got the do not glue warnings and a simple cut line there. So we can now just fold this together like so. And that's going to create a lift mechanism. And on this instance, oh, I'm going to put this back to front, but um, a little bit of glue just on the end there is simply all we need just to hold that together and there you go you'll notice 